All right, and this is why I say I'm qualified to do this here. This, as you can see from what you're looking at here, this, I was doing this uh, in 1968, 1970. I got back out of the Army in 1970, and then I went right into this, 1970 or what. All right. This is not stuff that you do on a Friday afternoon and forget about this. This is stuff that I was deeply into, and I go back to this right now, and I'm going to show you what I went back to find because it pertains. It's all structural atoms, the angstrom units between the, 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 the nucleus and the quantum states and the bonding of, and, and, and angularities and voltages and energy changes, and, and then we got to magnetic. And these are the, uh, the waves that they show is what electricity or, or, or light is supposed to look like and, and and it does to some effect but this is a two-dimensional pattern we have the literal plates spinning I'm going to show you that right now the full plates the three-dimensional plates same thing again they think that's what light looks like and it's a wave wa washing across and has no mass and all that business I'm 100 percent wrong about everything it has mass it comes from the sun as an electron, it spins, it comes through space as dark energy because it's only an electron, we don't see it, it obviously has energy, it left the sun with energy, it hits us with energy, it couldn't be not energy in the middle. Einstein's equation doesn't work, not a single thing is right here, nothing. This is his laser. Now, he's walking down here to where he's got his slits. This is what we're calling a Venturi slit. Well, you're not going to see it easily, but because it's hitting. Now, he's got the, the laser focused right on that. There's two pins coming up here. They're virtually touching. You can't see it. Now, it's hitting here, and then it's coming through that slit in the back out this direction, and he's going to hold a box and see what pattern this creates. And the pattern it will create, they call it... Um, uh, it's not, I don't call it that because it isn't that. It's, uh, they call it, I um, can't remember. But they, they, I'll show you. Uh, interference? I think it's interference. Okay, here, we're, here we go. Now, here he goes. He's got the box behind here. That's back this way, as you saw, was the slot. It's coming through and hitting his box. So let's see what he's got to say here. Now, as it comes up in the air, he's going to show you the interference patterns, they call them. Boom, I'm going to stop it right there. Now, this is typical of a slit experiment where you see heavier here than a break and less energy is out here than less energy, less energy, less. But you have these breaks. And that's why they saw there's a wave going in here and there's this and that and particles are hitting and so forth. Well, it's, it has nothing to do with that. This is a vortex particle spinning in a right-hand turn going through that slit and I can see it screwing into that box, literally. It, it, it does some of the things they say. It, it looks like, you know, it, I mean, that's the same pattern. Yes, I, I don't disagree with that, but that's not the reason it's here. And, and you will see this light is that it's coming down here just like that. It's coming down just like this, exactly like this. And the particles are at the end. So the particles, as they screw through this slot, which happens to be right here, they go through that slot and they screw in so one goes this way and, and see the heavy dents up here as it comes down past this side it can't go in the slot anymore because it's black as, as it comes boom it, it enters this slot see it's this obvious and then it's it, it continues and then it stops and then it gets into this slot and it gets big again see you watch and you'll see it as he comes closer and closer extremely obvious all right now watch here he goes He's getting closer and closer. Now, watch this, watch this. He's looking at these breaks here, but I'm looking at this. This turns into the literal circle of this. And we have them absolutely flawless with that, showing the actual particle. Rodney, I don't know how he did it, but he did it. Well, I can see how he did it. All right, watch. Watch it get closer and closer. You see the circles? That is the circular pattern of the disks, which is exactly what we see in every one of his experiments. They come through here in a literal disk. That's all it is. And when they come through that Venturi vortex, I mean the Venturi slit, they are exploding on the other side with this white radiation, which is called Cherenko radiation, which is 
what they use in nuclear power plants to decelerate the particles. We are accelerating light past the speed of light, and as it comes out, it's no longer red, it turns into this accelerated atomic particle. Well, uh, it's still electron, but it's spinning faster than it should be for the medium that it's in. As it issues out the other side of the slot, it falls back into unrestricted space and explodes. And where do you see the pictures of that? Unbelievable. But I'm just going to finish this up. Rodney does a fabulous job. Now watch this. Look at that. That blows my mind. Look at that. You can see that just like... Just, it's almost like it's hitting a puddle in air. <laughs> very, very strange stuff. But it's, it's what is expected. It's just, it's just, just, but it's strange as well. All right, that's, that's that. Now, let me show you uh, some of his other work. All right, now, he seems to be able to capture these little guys. You see them? As they transition between the chaotic white and down to a, a more stable state down here where they, they turn into these blurry little things. And he's got it better in the red. Hold on, I'll show you the better in the red. All right, now this is pretty outrageous show. I showed you those discs. Each one of these is literally one of those discs. All right. Over here, this is where the vortex is. You know, outside the vortex. And you see this white here, this chaotic looking white event. Then it sort of does some more whiter, glowier things. And then it settles into these, this pattern for a couple of bars. Then it goes into these other blurry things. Now, I, that's what I see. You know, that's all I can tell you is what I see. You see what I see. And um, other than that, we see the same thing, I hope. Okay, I always go for the smoking gun. Here it is. There's your vortex. He's coming, he's focusing straight down an electron beam. You see that? We're looking into an electron beam. That is the, the particle. Now, obviously, he doesn't have the equipment to catch that one single particle. He's catching a length of light, literally a length of, boop, and it's strobing down. We're catching it at, at its strobe point riding the wave and and there's other ones he has like this I, I don't know how he does it's amazing but you see these little i don't know if you can see those well hold on let me get down in there a little bit. this is chaos this is absolute literal chaos can you see these little squares and the holes the circles those are what they call eddies you see them they're all over the place, and those are electrons that should be spinning in a nice circular pattern like this, and they have exploded from the Cherenko radiation. Now, this is coming out this way towards us. Whoops, get back out of here. It's coming out in this plane, it's coming zoom, straight this way. He's got it offset a little bit, so this side of the Cherenko is, is, is explosive, and this side is a little tamer. And this happens frequently because it's very, very hard to center. And that's good that this is centered because this is where you see interesting things. Now, this is a smoker. Where do you see this? Let's look at this. I told you these are discs. And they are. They're round discs. And you see they, they have... They, and we have them all over the place. Now, he's shooting his laser down in there, taking the light, taking the picture from above. There's your Venturi slit. There's a nail here and a nail here. That type of round architecture here, round here. He's sending this down. It's hitting the Venturi. And look, it's just so completely obvious. The light disc is literally being sucked into the chaos of the disc. The, the recompression wave is sending itself back out here. You can see it very, very, very clear. Some plates are being sent backwards in the chaos. Other plates are showering forward here in Cherienko. And then, of course, you get the, you know, the excess running off here, but it's still a little glowy. This is deadly stuff. I mean, I don't know if it's deadly, but it's powerful. And Rodney says he can hear the frequencies change when he sort of moves the, because you're, you're changing the way it filters through that that orifice, that uh, venturi.
it's so unbelievable. Now, where did I show you the other discs that are not, that he did like, um, not showing this way, coming straight out at us? That was just a little snippet. I don't know what that was about, but that sort of shows you a little wave coming out. And that's the light from Rodney's laser. This was the first picture I saw from Rodney that excited me. And I told him it excited me in a manly way. <laughs> anyway, I see this and I'm thinking, holy mackerel, this is unbelievable. This is my vortex theory. Somebody drew this or something. Some computer generated thing and then I get a hold of Rodney. No, he's doing this with a laser. Look at this. That's coming through the Venturi slit. Hold on, let me get back here a little bit. That's coming through the Venturi slit towards us. We're facing right into this. These are showers of vortex particles of different intensities. Purple is denser and 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 more has more mass because it's spinning faster. The angular momentum of the same... All right, let's take an electron. weighs like almost nothing. It's 1,800 times smaller than a proton. It's the smallest, smallest particulate, they say. Anyway, even smaller than quarks and stuff. Now, which I don't know if any of that stuff is real, but it spins off in this denser plate. See, these are a little... Th orange and red and purples and, and, and that's a denser one and here it goes here and it goes here they come in these trails in these waves just like the patterns that I showed you on the water and that other thing that was uh, that ripply looking thing so anyway Rodney's showing all this stuff all right and there you go that's right at the slit the slit is back here somewhere and that's right after it comes out it's all in the Cherienko which is the white you see these whole these circles? Those are they're coming out in such they're supposed to be spinning straight out like this. They're exploding, they're coming left, right, upside down. It's a mess. It's a total chaotic mess. And then they start to reform into their different colors as they, they progress back down to the red in the stable state. Alright, I told you we had a lot of photography, and we do. Rodney did all of it, and um, and we had a guy uh, just hooked up with us that uh, offered to make renderings of the thing, showing the energy potentials and all this business, and he did, and they're fabulous. And this is says, light is dark energy, and matter is, light is dark energy and matter in the vacuum of space. Exactly correct. And here he says, here's proof of your theory on dark energy. He sent that to me. And, and, and it looks like an a, a atomic particle from the 60s. And this is the energy levels. And we all know, well, or most people understand, the different energy potentials relate to the intensity of colors. And it goes up towards the whites. And, and, you know, purple and all that business up in there. So these are a certain energy, and then green is a certain energy, red is a little lower, yellow is in, in, in you know, I mean, it's all, there's a lot to look at here. But it's a, it's a tool to help us understand what we're looking at.